Hey guys! I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shikha and I welcome you to my channel. As always, I'm so grateful that you guys are listening, subscribing, and commenting. I appreciate the support. And if you're interested in supporting me further, you can do that by going to my Patreon or Ko-fi link. They're linked in the description below. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about something that I've been thinking a lot about recently. I think I read this particular phrase somewhere in the comments or somewhere, you know, all of the different things that I read. And it said particularly something like, we need more data points. Now, I don't know if it was in relationship to relationships or if it was in relationship to something else, but I thought that that was a very good way of looking at the way INFJs look at relationships and the way we door slam people and the way we judge people. A lot of times what we do is that we kind of jump to conclusions and a lot of times perhaps it is our intuition telling us, okay, you know, this person is no good, you need to stay away from them. Or perhaps it's, it's not our intuition telling us and we're just kind of using our intuition as a scapegoat. Or we're thinking that, you know, someone is not good for us when we're just kind of playing on our past stories or playing the role of a victim or perhaps just just doing something wrong, right? And I sometimes we do, I do a lot of times, make a judgment, a freak judgment on, a snap judgment on a person, and then I get to know them a little bit better, and I realize, ah, my first judgment was absolutely false, and it was just because I'm afraid of um, certain people in general, because I feel like they're gonna do certain things to me, or because I have past stories associated with it, past life experiences associated with it. And so, in general, what I'm trying to say about this is that what we need to start doing is, building in more data points. We need more data points in order to make the judgments and the assessments that we're working on. I've been reading this book recently called Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. I think that's the last way, that's the way you pronounce his name. Basically, he's talking about the two systems of thinking. The system one is our intuition, it's the fast thinking. You just kind of make snap judgments about things. And a lot of times, he says in the book, the system one, the intuition, the snap judgments, the fast thinking is wrong. It's false. What we're trying to do and what our brain is trying to do is that it doesn't like to think too much. It likes to jump to conclusions. It likes to use our system one because it doesn't take up a lot of energy. As soon as you jump to system two, which is using your prefrontal cortex, using your thinking systems and taking a little bit of time, using a lot of glucose, putting a little bit more effort, what happens is that you need to put in that effort and that effort is something that your brain doesn't like to put in. Your brain doesn't like thinking. It doesn't like putting in mental effort. It just wants to do things easily. And so what we do is we use our system one, we use our intuition to make judgments about people, things, situations, things like that. But as I said, the book really tries to warn us because there's so many biases and so many heuristic biases that come up in our thinking that says we try to think a certain way, but it's not right because we're trying to use a shortcut that's not necessarily accurate. Right? One of the examples that he used in the book that I found was really useful was, for example, you look at a little child, perhaps he's four or five years old and he's meek and he has glasses on and he's very quiet, he likes to play by himself, he doesn't like people that much, he's introverted. What occupation do you think this person would gravitate towards, this kid would gravitate towards in the future? Librarian or farmer, right? And with the system one, the judgment, the snap judgment is system one will say librarian. He's meek, he doesn't like people, he likes to be on his own, he can spend all of his time reading books or, you know, in the back in the library doing whatever they do, librarians do. But the, the thing is that we forget, system two brings in the idea that we're forgetting that there are 25 times more farmers than librarians, at least in the United States. So there's obviously more potential and more like, likelihood that this individual is going to turn into a meek, quiet farmer rather than a librarian, just because of the stats of it. But that stat doesn't come into play because as an individual, if you're using your intuition, if you're using your system one, you're going into that snap, snap judgment, you're going to say, well, of course he's going to turn to be a librarian, not considering all the different factors in, involved with it. Now, I'm not saying to completely discount intuition. Obviously, my intuition has let me, not wrong, but in a lot of ways it has let me right in so many different ways. And I do trust, as an INFJ, I trust my intuition a lot. But I do realize that a lot of times... My intuition is also, it can be falsified. And um, 
because of my past trauma with relationships, uh, for example, because of the stuff that happened with my exes, sometimes when I meet a new person, when I meet a new guy, I have all of these misconceptions in my mind. This person's gonna hurt me, he's gonna use me, he's gonna he's going to make me lose my time, he's gonna make me lose myself, things like that, which isn't actually true. But I'm using my system one to jump to this conclusion because that's my snap judgment, that's my life experience, that's what I'm using. If I slow down and try to think about it a little bit more rationally, if I try to put in a little bit more data points, I would realize that this is false, false information that I'm feeding myself because I'm afraid perhaps to go into a relationship, because I'm afraid to go into all that stuff, right? It's not the truth that this person's going to hurt me, it's that my life, past life experiences are making me judge this person harshly, right? Now, of course, a lot of times our intuition is right. How do we figure out if our intuition is right or wrong? Again, this is why I bring up the point, the data points thing. If we are making a judgment about a person, or if we're making a judgment about a situation, or if we're making a judgment about anything really, what we need to do is that realize first of all that is a snap judgment that we made, all right, our intuition is telling us this, great, all right, so this is what it is, this is, I don't think this person is going to be a good friend to me because they're going to use me in the future, this is the snap judgment that I made about this person in front of me, awesome. Now what I need to do is build more data points associated with it. I don't just dismiss this individual and say, all right, we're never going to be friends. He's not going to be my friend or she's not going to be my friend. I'm never going to talk to her again. What I'm going to do, or I'm going to try to do, if I was being rational about it, is that I would try to spend a little bit more time with this individual. I would try to maybe gauge a little bit more what this individual is like by asking people around us, maybe asking a few of his friends, her friends, my friends, what do you think about this person? Do you think he's a good person or not? Do you think he'd be a good friend or not? Is he a good friend to you or not? And then using conversation, using observation, using more data points, I would eventually make the judgment, perhaps, yeah, that my first judgment was right. This person is not going to be a good friend to me. Or, yeah, I was wrong. This person is going to turn out to be a great friend to me. And I'm glad that I didn't listen to my intuition or my snap judgment or my first, my system one telling me what it's supposed to be, right? So data points. We need to start, as, especially as an INFJ, to start collecting more data points. It's really important because it's very easy to start thinking that we're not going to use more data points. We don't need more data points. We're INFJs. We have intuition. We don't need anything else. Uh, we, we know everything. We are the masters of everything. Why would we need more data points? We don't. And so we just assume that we're fine and we can just go on with it and we just keep on using our intuition, sometimes falsely, a lot of times falsely, and a lot of times incorrectly, right? Now, as you get older, obviously, your intuition gets more refined and you can trust it more. I know I trust my intuition more now than I did before. If it's telling me that I need to bring up something in a conversation, I'll bring it up. If it tells me that I need to walk this way rather than that way, I'll trust it. If it tells me I need to go to that restaurant instead of the other restaurant, yeah, I'll trust that as well. But a lot of times when I'm making a judgment about an individual or about a really important situation, I try a little bit more to bring other data points into it. I will use my intuition and I will be like, all right, what does my intuition tell me? All right, cool, this is what it tells me. It says to go for A rather than B. All right, great. Now I need to think about it a little bit more, bring in more data points and think about how I can go towards it. For example, if I was offered a job with a university in Thailand, I'd look at it and I'd be like, oh, this sounds amazing. This is what I want to do. This is what I wanted to do. This is why I want to do it. And so I was like, all right, let's do it. But the problem is that when I think about it a little bit more, I realize that's not in my life plan. It's not in my vision. It's not in my mission. It's not what I really want to do. Then I need to step back and say, oh, yeah, okay, I need to think about it a little bit more. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. Data points. We need more data points in order to make the judgments, the decisions that we're trying to make on a daily basis. Usually intuition is okay. I mean, small decisions is fine. But when you're making a bigger decision, especially with regards to someone else, I recommend that you kind of bring in more data points into the situation. Always try to bring in as many data points as possible until you're like, all right, I've had enough. I have enough information. Now I can make a, a useful judgment about this person or about this job or about this country or about the situation. I hope this makes sense. All right. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this, obviously let me know. I'm still learning about this myself and I'm still reading the book Thinking Fast and Slow and I'm still trying to understand my own way of thinking, understand my intuition, understand all of this. So I am still a newbie at it. Um, so please ask me questions and obviously that'll help me think about this further. If you have any suggestions on how I can improve myself in this, obviously let me know. 
And again, if you want to support me further, you can do that by going to my Ko-fi link. The link is in the description below. I shall see you guys next time around. Bye for now.